Okay, so in team one we have MLG, um, who are a corp. Um, some former afterlife pilots, some former hydro pilots, a bit of a mix going on there. Um, I believe uh, Nika is the FC, but I could be wrong. Um, and we've also got uh, a band apart playing um, against them for this match. Um, uh, so the way it works, unfortunately, I can't um, lock everyone because I don't have the ability to lock 24 targets. Um, but we can have a little look here, and hopefully, I've got a new graphics card, so hopefully things look a little better. Although, um, I've realised that part of the problem with my streaming is that I have a shitty upload speed, and I'm trying to re remedy that, so I've uh, been seeking to to my internet provider, and hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll be improved next week even further. So, um, MLG, you're born... Um, um, a shield kiting team, so something that we've seen quite a lot so far in the last uh, couple of shows I've done. So we've got two Orthrus, um, we've got Scimitar for reps, um, we've got Jackdaw for support, we've got a Mollus in there for Ewar, we've got Heretic interestingly, Heretic does kind of work in shield actually, um, and light missile kiting ships are great as anti-support. We've got two Slepnirs for the core there, I'm going to guess they're artillery but I could be wrong. Let's zoom in, I've actually got graphics on my computer now, so you should be able to tell. Um, looks like artillery to me. Um, so that's a kind of like pretty textbook. Uh, it's starting to see the meta develop a little bit. So people um, are kind of making assumptions based on last year's rules um, and the points that test have um, uh, allocated to ships so far for these practices. Um, they might be completely wrong, so the meta might be off, but certainly this uh, this light missile meta is pretty strong still. Um, so what looks like a band of part, or stay frosty, as they're also known as, um, have brought an armor set up. So they've brought an Armageddon uh, for their core ship, um, and a Astarte for Lynx, they've brought an Aneros for reps, uh, they've brought Confessors, Feeples, Heretic for support, and they've also got a Hound in the pocket there as well at the back. And uh, all that Amolus is there. So uh, these teams, a lot of them, like uh, MLG, have almost got all their pilots in one corporation, which is super easy for me to, to tell who's who. Um, other guys practicing will be in a bunch of random corps and stuff, which make it a little bit trickier. But generally, so I think, I believe, the way it looks on grid, um, everyone who's orange, plus this dude here, I don't know why he's not showing it back, but orange is probably something to do with my crappy overview settings, um, and him being negative standing or something. Um, so you've got to see who's who. Um, so this team, the Armageddon team, is going to be super slow uh, compared to the Shield team. Well, having said that, I've got an R-Star A for Link. Sorry, the support will be quite fast and they should be able to catch the Shield cruisers, certainly. Um, but the Shield, um, a lot of the Shield ships will be faster than these armor ones. The Armageddon's not going to be able to chase up with that kiting team unless it's really good. So he's going to be relying on his support to tackle things. Um, his long range newts and uh, will be super useful in this. Looks like they're just getting ready to set up now. waiting for the match to get ready now. They're just probably doing a little bit of conversation on grid to see what's going on. Um, give me a wave in the Twitch chat by the way if you're alive. <laughs> hey, wake up. Doesn't hurt. So I'm gonna lock some of the squishier ships. Um, just because it's interesting. I'm obviously gonna lock the I'm gonna lock the lodgies on both sides. I'm gonna lock the two Orthruses and I'm gonna lock the. Oh, they've got two Astartes, forgive me. I'm gonna lock the Geddon, Hound, the Morlus. Things that are likely to be primary, basically, just so you guys can get an idea of what's gonna get shot. Um, so. 
I'm not saying these are going to be the primaries. I don't know, but if I was an if I was an FC on grid, uh, enemy lodge is always a, a good thing to primary. Get that off the grid. Um, core ships, if you can tackle them and overpower them, and then somehow damp down the lodgy, that's also a good thing to do. And then like these super these super flimsy support ships who've got not a lot of tank at all, um, and take really good piloting to stay alive. They can be killed really quickly by um, enemy support ships if they make a piloting error. So abandoned part, just getting ready. Only want a few seconds, sort things out. Just waiting for a, a countdown on local guys. My money is here on MLG. They've been flying particularly strongly so far in these. Um, these practice sessions, they seem like a really good bunch of pilots, they've got a lot of old Alliance tournament pilots mixed in there, um, and their, P their kill board on TQ is frankly terrifying, um, they're really good small gang PvPers, so um, in their hands, a shield kiting setup like this is really really strong, in the hands of bad pilots, no offence, <laughs> lower tier pilots, um, a shield kiting team it j will be, is is a lot less likely to win, should we say. It, it requires really delicate piloting to win. Um, you've got to stay out of range of enemy tackle, you've got to be able to react quickly to incoming tackle to be able to get away from it. Um, you've got to coordinate as a team very fast. Um, it's a lot more intense generally. Eighty-one people in local. Well, there's quite a few teams here. I think uh, certainly. I think it looks like Test have got a team. Um, I think Kick were trying to get a team together, but it looks pretty thin on the ground in terms of numbers tonight for us guys. Um, so certainly we've got MLG Band Apart, and we've got. Um, let's try and see who else we've got. I think we might have a Brave Newbies team. Is that Brave Newbies? Yeah, Brave are here. They're always here. They're really keen, Brave. I love them. Um, and test also look like they've got a team here. So there's about three or four teams at least in local. Um, so we should have a bunch of matches tonight. Hopefully, I'll stream for probably around about an hour and a half, two hours. So the countdowns in local: ten, nine, eight, seven. These two teams are about to get off underway. Apologise if I spin my camera around quite a lot. Some people have been complaining about that, but it really helps me get an idea of what's going on. Um, and it looks like straight away I'm being locked by an enemy of Neros. I think one of them is going to try and keep me alive. That's quite funny. Um, so, straight away, um, the shield kited team, as expected, is kiting off to the edge of the boundary. Um, and incoming tackle is being primaried. Omran in the Cure is taking a ton of damage. He's being absolutely deleted by those little light missiles. He didn't have, even have a chance, poor guy. Um, Joffy in the Sveeple is most likely to be next. Um, he's not taking any damage yet, but he's in. Oh, yep, no, he is in amongst the enemy, and he doesn't. He's either not in tank mode or he's not getting rep, any reps from his Neros. I think he's burnt way ahead of his Neros. Yeah, classic mistake. Um, so he's gone right to the edge of uh, that Neros' fall off, if not outside of Optimum almost. Um, so great. Uh, I've got to admit, a band apart here, just being absolutely torn apart by Elementary. Um, Mollus now going down. Uh, they, was, I'm not sure what Mollus should be doing there. Uh, a little bit of, um, uh, I don't want to say noobishness, it's a little bit hard. <laughs> a little bit of uh, inexperience possibly here. Uh, a lot of the abandoned part team absolutely trying to just rush straight on top of those uh, shield kite ships to make sure they don't run away. But by in doing that, they've kind of left behind their loggy, they've left behind um, a lot of their other ships. Um, Separated. Um, the Armageddon now um, is amongst the shield team, though, which could be interesting. He might be able to do something. 
Um, but unless the Simtar dies, I think this MLG team is going to be absolutely fine. Um, Cyrix in the Hound now. Um, he was captain of FIPI Freeport Republic. So interesting, he's a with ABA. Um, he's just popped. Um, Van der Part here just being absolutely torn to shreds. Um, partly to their own piloting errors, I think. Uh, partly three sort of MLGs just experience they're keeping you notice the positioning of MLG is quite a nice tight bunch. They've let these heavy ships get amongst them, they've not been too concerned. Um they can manage them not too bad. Uh, the shield ships yeah, just keeping them busy by keeping just out of range and keeping the uh the armor ships burning around to probably lose out of cap. They're really nicely tight groups together. You see a really good um formation kind of thing they've got going on here. Which is quite important, and and if you actually look carefully, they're not they're not orbiting, they're not anchoring, they're all piloting individually, keeping a nice kind of tight formation. Some really good stuff going on there. Right, look look out for these guys in AT. Um, and start here, I think he might have just we walked him back in again. I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, Josie in the Armageddon now. He's just kind of like bending off towards the edge of the arena. Um, I haven't got a lot of these guys locked. I should try and lock up some more. See who's taking damage at the moment. I'm not really sure. Okay, so interesting MLG. They've, they've got these big heavy ships around them. I've got them all locked up, but they're not going for them. They're actually switching now for the Aneros, and they're just focusing on mopping up all of this support because the support is really threatening to them. If they get caught, if they get pinned down, they die in a fire. But if they can kill the tackle, then they don't need to worry. They can just keep moving around the arena. They can run away from hostiles uh, and disengage really easily. Nice tight group, they're all kind of like centered around the opponents, keeping them tackled, keeping them um, pinned down. And the Aneurus is definitely the primary now because they know that going through in a start with uh, full reps will be tricky, even if they have uh, got a ton more DPS than left than the opponents. So I've actually got graphics on my computer, quite nice. Um, Mark Callan now on the Aneurus taking a ton of damage. Um, Saw one of the uh, MLG guys. I think they've called it. Yeah, a band apart have called this match. Uh, just to not waste everyone's time. It looks like they've thoroughly lost. I don't think I saw MLG lose a ship there. So it was a clean sweep for MLG. It's quite impressive stuff.